So hey guys, um, this is actually going to be a video that really means something um, to my heart. Um, so I would have really appreciated if you just take 10 minutes um, and just hear me out. Um, I think the best, um, I don't even know what I want to say, I guess the best um, answer is to be educated um, regardless of what you're talking about. Um, when you make a decision, you want to be as educated as possible. Um, so I'm going to have a couple links actually in the sidebar. Some of them are graphic. Um, I encourage you to check them out, look them over, and make your own decision for yourself to fit your own lifestyle. Um, and I'm not saying switch everything over. This is about animal testing. I'm not saying stop what you're doing right now and just switch everything over. Um, you can gradually do this. You can just change one or two products maybe that you buy over and over again that um, don't test on animals to support that. Um, do it, Take it however you want. Um, this is just a little bit of an informative video. I've been working on a video. Actually, it's going to be the most worked on video that I've ever done. A lot of editing um, and a lot of um, really cute video. It's me, my kids, my family, my animals and everything. And it's going to be um, more in detail. This is just to hold you over for another two weeks until I get that done. Um, so yeah, I did get a question of why I didn't like CoverGirl, and the reason is CoverGirl tests on animals. Um, I would never buy their products full price. I would buy them clearance, and that's still shame on me. I shouldn't even do that. Um, but the only thing that I do kind of um, am bad towards is makeup sometimes. Um, but everything else that I buy um, for my house, for my kids, for um, just everyday things, I do um, watch what I buy, and I only buy things that do not test on animals. So just going to get started because this is going to be a long video. I'm going to start out with makeup products. Um, Revlon used to test on animals. I think it was 1990 maybe um, that they switched over and they went cruelty free, which is amazing. Um, and I'm very thankful, I guess, to my mom and how I was raised. Um, this just went through generation to generation and um, I think awareness um, really pays off. So hopefully my kids will do the same thing. Um, so Revlon does not test on animals, which they are um, animal free cruelty free I guess so good for those good for them I guess um, another one that I'm super excited um, that they just started selling around me um, and I think I'm going to switch a lot of my makeup um, things items that I like I'm going to try to switch over to them is hard candy and um, on the back and all over their packaging it always says um, we heart our animal friends and we do not test our products on them which is amazing so Hard Candy is another one that does not test their products on them. And um, real quick, um, different ways that companies word it. Sometimes they'll say this product does not test on animals, and other ones will say we don't test on animals. If they say we don't test on animals, you got to watch with that. Um, sometimes the company itself does not test on animals, but they might branch out and get maybe some of their ingredients off a different company and then you know use it to make their, their product. And it's like a third party thing, so the third party may test on animals, but the company itself that's producing it and putting their label on it does not. So that's a little bit of like an issue. You just got to research it yourself. But again, links in the sidebar, you can Google it, whatever, um, you know, and find your answer. So um, LA Colors is another one, very affordable, very cheap. Um, I tend to go to a lot of LA Colors, to be honest with you. Um, for the simple fact that they do not test on animals and their products are pretty good for the price. So, LA Colors does not. Um, now, this is one of my favorite brands just for um, the product itself. I love Physicians Formula. I love their bronzers. I love everything. It's an amazing makeup line, I think. Um, and it's a little bit, I guess, higher end if you want to say a drugstore brand. Um, so, that is Physicians Formula. Physicians Formula is a um, cruelty free and they do not test on animals, which is amazing. And that just makes me like them a lot more. So they also have an organic line out as well, which I'm going to start, um, you know, buying things from that line as well. Um, next um, is another, I guess, higher end brand um, drugstore is Prestige. And I love Prestige's um, bronzers and everything like that. So um, I'm excited to try their eyeshadows. I just got actually some eyeshadows. So definitely we'll try those out. And they do not test on animals. So amazing. Um, next, actually, um, I watched this documentary on um, Walmart and how they're taking over the world and whatever. Um, it was kind of interesting. I do understand that they do put smaller business under, which is not, you know, good. But um, I do support Walmart actually a lot. I buy, try to buy a lot of Equate brands if I like them. Um, and Walmart brand does not test on animals. So I love their makeup wipes. 
Um, I used to love Clean and Clear, and to be honest with you, I did buy it um, only because it was the only thing that really worked for my skin. And I was really, really excited um, when Walmart, actually, the Equate brand, started coming out with um, you know product lines exactly like Clean and Clear. I promise you, you will not know the difference if these bottles were like wrapped up you would not tell the difference the texture the smell the color everything is exactly the same so I switched everything over to my last product to equate and they are animal free cruelty free so amazing um, next is two shampoos that I have and then I have one more lipstick um, this is um, silk and softy silk <laughs> soft and silky vanilla um, shampoo and it's organics and they do not test on animals, and you'll find that if you research it or whatever, um, a lot of organics um, do not test on animals, so that is really good, and a lot of the organics companies are um, vegan-free, so they're vegan, so that's really good. Oh, dropped it. Um, next, I've used this product forever. Um, my husband and my um, kids and everybody use this. Um, it is a Tresemme, and I love their um, hair products as far as like the smoothing gel or um, flyway spray or heat protectant, anything, um, trust me, has always been um, cruelty free and it says this product does not test on animals and normally if you read the back of all the ingredients they have to have it listed um, somewhere on the back and if it's not listed they probably do test on animals but again just google it if you're interested um, in your favorite makeup brand or whatever I know um, your cleaning supplies you have to worry about your hand sanitizers anything that has chemicals in it that you clean your house with or put in your hair or anything um, you know anything that has chemicals on it you know is possibly animal testing um, I know Clorox bleach they do test their products on animals um, I also know Johnson & Johnson which is really sad um, they're a family oriented company um, they grew up you know a small family and they into this massive business and a lot of their products you know they have a lot of products and clean and clear is actually one of their products they have a lot of baby products um, which I find very sick and very disgusting that they can make like a baby, cute baby video, or not a video, a commercial, and then on the same time have these animals in the cages with, you know, it's just, it's just, I would never support that. Um, really crazy. I know when my son was young, he had um, bad diaper rash, and it was hard because Johnson & Johnson's pretty much all baby um, line. Um, I do find, I did find this amazing, um, diaper rash cream if you do have babies it's called butt paste I don't have it out with me but it's amazing and I promise you it works amazing and they do not test on animals so maybe if you want to check that out um, my one lipstick which I'm very impressed with it is a UK brand I um, google everything that I get from the UK and see if they test on animals or whatever and it is natural collections and this is my apple blossom um, lipstick which I'm super excited that they don't test on animals and I actually just got a mascara and I'm actually really liking it so I know boots brands I know do not test on animals so, um, yeah, if you guys want another list or anything, um, just let me know. I might do another video on this if you're interested. And, again, the other video will be up in two days or so. Um, just awareness is, you know, just part of the matter. Even if you switch just one thing, say you buy a lot of shampoo, um, why not switch? If, you, if you're buying a bottle of shampoo every month, why not switch to something that does not test on animals, you know? Just a little bit of help, I think we can go a long way, um, and awareness is really important. So if you guys check the links in the sidebar, I would truly be amazed and be so thankful. And um, hopefully I opened your mind up. Um, if I swayed your decision, good. If not, well then, that's good. Maybe you learned something that you didn't know. And I am going to have a part two on this. So you guys take care, and make sure you look out for a part two. Bye.